fast cars and trucks. Well, lots of people are keeping an eye out for that Chinese rocket as it falls down back towards Earth. And again, the latest update that we had gotten on that is expecting to be further towards the southeast. It's made its past for us. Chances for us here, again, much lower. And then again, we have had some beneficial stuff falling from the sky. That's been the rain that we got to start off the month. And we're going to get a little bit more of that as we get into next week as well. So again, certainly some areas of abnormal as well as moderate drought conditions that could still use a little bit of that rain. Again, clear skies for us for much of the state of Texas. We've seen some high clouds passing and even some lower clouds just off towards our southwest again just maybe again some lower clouds off towards our east but again mostly clear skies uh, for us here in the Concho Valley and we're going to continue that going into your Mother Day plans as well so again looking at downtown San Angelo at the Cactus Cam again blue skies temperatures in the lower 90s 91 those southerly winds have been a bit breezy as well 17 miles per hour so again gusty as we've kind of gone into the afternoon hours it's going to continue tonight as well temperatures for the area upper 80s and lower 90s across the area 90 in Mertzen 88 in El Dorado same with Sonora as well so again a warm day, certainly above average as well. Wind speeds have also been on the gusty side for the entire Concho Valley. Seeing gusts again closer to 30 miles per hour. That's going to continue as we go into the overnight hours as well. And it won't be until tomorrow afternoon that we start to see those winds dying down a little bit. And that's as that cooler air moves in late on Sunday, earlier on Monday. Then we'll see them pick back up. But coming out of the east, that's going to be bringing some cooler temperatures for us as we get into your work week. So again, tonight, temperatures will be dipping into the mid-60s, still hanging on to those breezy conditions, gusts up to 30 miles per hour at times. But by tomorrow, we'll see a very similar pattern, mostly clear skies, warmer temperatures, but those winds will start to decrease as well, still staying from the southwest for most of your Mother's Day plan. So again, if you are getting out there and enjoying it, we'll expect that cold front to begin coming in later on Sunday. Otherwise, a warm day expected for your Mother's Day. Again, we'll be watching for those warm temperatures to continue, but by Monday, we'll start to see those cooler temperatures working its way into the Concho Valley, and then that's going to linger for much of the week ahead. It won't be until later in the week. By Thursday, we start to see that pattern change. Again, Monday, we'll also start to see those increased rain chances, especially for our southeastern parts of the Concho Valley. Late on Monday, that's when we'll start to see those rain chances really picking up. By Tuesday, it becomes more widespread for the entire Entire Concho Valley, and then we'll see those rain chances slowly taper off going into Wednesday, but still hanging on to the cloud coverage as well as the cooler temperatures going into your Thursday. So again, extended forecast, again, warm and fantastic expected for Sunday. Then we'll start to see those cooler temperatures as well as those rain chances creep into the forecast to start off your work week, and then things will slowly warm back up as we head into next weekend.